back in the kitchen and this afternoon I'm going to make for you a great little recipe of turmeric paste and turn it into uh, turmeric tea. So they are two different recipes but it's great when you can actually have something in the fridge that you could pull if you wanted to make your turmeric. Let's see, there it is. I've sometimes used the paste as a tea, so even though it's not using it as such, that's the one. Turmeric lemon and ginger tea. So it starts out with a few choice ingredients, which I've got already cut and peeled here with my trusty Thermomix set. So be careful, fresh turmeric stored stains. If you've just had your nails done, you want to wear gloves. I'm going to put in 50 grams into the bowl. And 50 grams. There. Almost. This is the way we peel ginger in case you haven't seen the quick and easy. Back of the knife, or my paring knife as I love to use. Some coconut oil. Coconut oil is a great antibacterial, antifungal anti-everything so it's a good one to get in there and a couple of teaspoons of black pepper now this is where as some of you may have supplements black pepper works in with turmeric and actually works synergistically to help release the goodies work uh, it's anti-inflammatory power, so we're just going to chop that up. Okay, scrape down the sides. Some of it's stuck. It's pretty chopped up, as you can see there. Let's give it another three-second chop. Tablespoons of board and at this stage if you wanted to just use your tablespoon measurement you can but if you want to bring up your scales you also know the tablespoons 15 mils so probably put 30 in there to make it exact and now it's just going to cook up so we're just pretty much knocking out the enzymes in this so that it can be put into a jar and stored in the fridge for a couple of weeks. This is um, a nice combination. Sometimes you'll buy just a jar of ginger and um, a jar of garlic, that kind of thing. But this is a nice blend to put together and use it as a base in some of your Indian slash um, different curry cooking. I'm gonna just pop that in that jar in a minute. So for the tea, we've just got a side a lemon. Tea is the next thing I'm going to make. And I'm just going to grab the ginger, a piece of ginger. This makes up a litre. I like doing it, sipping on it through the day, and then of course you can chill it and drink it later. As a cold drink if you like. I'm 
So I've got ginger growing in the backyard. And with that ginger comes some great ginger leaves. The green leaves are really quite flavoursome as well. So it's something that I don't like to throw out. I can just boil up a jug and sometimes throw a heap of ginger leaves in. Even with a little bit of aloe vera. Um, get quite a nice flavoured tea, just using those greens which most people would discard, but still got a lot of goodness in them. A milder flavour than the ginger root itself. This guy to lemon. It's going to go into our tea. So I've just peeled the lemon. And again, lemon peels. It wasn't the prettiest lemon, but full of flavour. Lemon peels can be saved up. I bag them up, dry them out and make recipes from those. There's some amazing plant chemicals in the peel of the lemon. So we don't want to throw those out when they can be ground down into a powder. We can make a lemon pepper. It's one of my favorites. We can even grind it down to um, a fine, fine powder texture and throw it in a green juice and add it as a vitamin C powder yourself that you've made from home from scratch so don't don't waste the peel right so all we need is the lemon and the ginger and a litre of water a little bit of cinnamon it's going to go in next love buying the organic spices anything that you get from the supermarket generally has been um, irradiated so they do this to bring them into the country and kill off anything. But in doing that, they also kill off the good, goodness in it. So love to get those um, organic where possible. And I love Pure Food Essentials, it's a good brand. I've been going through this by the bucket load. Turmeric and cinnamon on a daily basis. Look, it's great. If you wanna know what um, best way to eat your way out of pain, on a daily basis is including your ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, the great spices. The best herb is no doubt rosemary for anti-inflammatory properties. So I love getting rosemary in whatever I can. And um, there are four, four great anti-inflammatories to include in your brew, whatever way you can do it on a daily basis. And I'm always putting up tips and tricks of tweaking upgrading i've just done a hummus and using turmeric in that some ginger just to showcase the way to get more of this amazing stuff into your diet of course you can use the dried powder stuff and for this recipe as well i've done 50 grams but also use 50 grams of your dried turmeric you just need to make a little bit put a bit extra water to make it more liquidy so the um, recipe says around 60 grams of water can be substituted for the, the real thing. I was able to get some today and it's not an easy one to get organic, but um, I do often pop down to Woi Woi and get that from our local organic shop. Otherwise, yeah, the turmeric, just give it a good soap. Of course, if you're not going to get it um, organically. So this is nearly ready. Paste is going to be nice and hot so we'll just set that aside needs to cool before you actually put it in a sterilized jar and lid it i've got a jar for this one so the reason this recipe is built with the tea is because then you don't need to wash your bowl can use that remains, which I like to partner my dishes. It's something that I can throw in and get that extra little bit of flavor out of, I will. Okay, so it says a half a lemon. This is a small one, so I'm gonna pop in um, the flesh of a lemon. Okay, we want two and a half centimeter pieces of fresh ginger peel. That looks about right. chop okay we're going to add a litre of water
quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, maple syrup if you want to use maple. I've actually got some local Australian manuka, which is amazing. So I'm going to add that one to two tablespoons. This is really about to your sweetness. So you might try this first and just see if it needs to add a little bit more to the mix. Okay, here's your turmeric and ginger paste right here. So two teaspoons. As I say, it's not one that you're using. All this is going to be set aside and becomes your base next time. Don't have to go through the whole thing. Just add your lemon and your ginger, teaspoon, and cook it up. So once that's done, just watch your bench. Turmeric, as I said, stains. I do find um, bicarb soda is not a bad little cleaner. My other favourite cleaners, just as an ad break, is the old-fashioned Bon Amy. It's great, it's cheap, it's um, it's just no chlorine, chemicals, no perfumes, and that's a great one for cleaning. Sinks gives that nice lemon flavour smell to the air, and we all like perfumes. I think that's why we go for them half the time. Smell good. So yeah, watch your bench. Turmeric has got a lovely little colour to it. Make a great dye. So, how are you including more spices in your diet? It's a real important aspect if you want to find, um, you know, freedom from the pains and the aches that go with the ageing. And a lot of us just simply need you know, more nourishing, we end up you know, eating a diet that's devoid of the incredible um, nutrients and antioxidants that come with a whole food diet. So getting back to scratch, buying things, um, you know, buying from your farmer, and turning them into your own goodies like this is the way to go. End your love affair with tins and cans and get cracking with your veggie garden. Got a stack of things growing out there at the moment. Even though we're coming into the winter months and things aren't growing as fast, I've got a couple of enormous butter pump, pump yeah, butter butternut pumpkins that are growing. So looking forward to cutting those up, using them. All the loving, tender care that's gone into those the last couple of months. Got some snow peas. I've got tomatoes, a little bit of bok choy, pak choy, a couple of those Asian greens, and a stack of herbs. So my mint, parsley's sort of dying off a little, and um, my rosemary bush has gone crazy. So love the fact I can go and just pick it fresh, bring it in. You know, you can dry it yourself and just add that goodness. It's more than a flavour enhancement, but it is definitely upgrading your dinner with those extra micronutrients. So we're nearly done now. What we'll be finalising this recipe is using the basket. So this will use the strainer of the basket. This is for my TM5 machine with that lid. I like this one for this recipe. on to cooking this longer and I'm going to put that back in but I will just show you how it's looking now for the sake of the time here's your straining basket and there's your litre lemon turmeric tea so I'll cook that up for another 10 minutes and fine mesh sieve or your basket into a jug and there's your golden turmeric 
lemon tea. Bon appétit.